Well, here we are at Easy Horse Care Rescue Centre. Well, <laughs> today I was going to give a little bit of an explanation about all the various things that have happened over the last six, seven or eight weeks. Well, as you all know, Rod uh, was rushed to hospital. He did very, very nearly die. He has been extremely ill. But the plus is, he is now actually getting better. It's been a huge train of events and disasters that have happened over the last couple of months. But in all of this, I do believe that we've moved forward, we've learned, and I think sometimes in life, something happens that really knocks you back and then you go into the depths of despair and then all of a sudden you think, do you know what, we're going to sort it out and a little light is shone down the hole and you look up and slowly you start to see the light again. And I actually believe now all of what's happened is enabled us to think a lot more clearly about what we're doing, where we're going. And I think also it's enabled us, to, it's given us clarity to tweak things to actually make things better for the future. So we are moving forward. We've got lots of plans of things that we're going to do to make things better here and to run smoother and easier because Rod is never going to be able to do what he used to do. But we're just making everything much more efficient in lots of different ways. Um, and also, there's always a plus, isn't there? The one thing that I was really, really dreading still hasn't happened. I've still got this little guy. This little guy here is the one that we actually expected to lose a couple of months ago. He's still with me. He is an absolute miracle. What we actually think has happened with Fudge, because he's got two large growths that were actually going over his windpipe, we think that they've gone the other way. Obviously they're still growing and of course we know that he only has so much time, but because they've actually moved away from the windpipe and are going away from it, he can now breathe again and it's given him a lot more time. This is his siesta time in the afternoon when he just chills out and has a little bit of a snack and has a snooze. But um, he's my little little bit of light in the darkness. I know I'm gonna lose him, but you know, this little guy's kind of kept me going and you think, yeah, well go on fudge, if you can do it, we can all do it. So really, I'd like to say a huge thank you to all the kind words, uh, lovely messages that we've had from lots of you that follow us. Um, some lovely people have come forward and offered help and we've made new friends with some new people that have come to help us continue with the rescue centre and believe you me we will go from strength to strength we have lots of plans for the future and we can only get better people power thank you so much